Welcome to this edition of DIY3dtech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at this uh, little gizmo from uh, uh, Filmic Corner. So Filmic Corner had written me on Thingiverse and a actually asked me to take a look at this, uh, especially with the FLIR camera, to see how it actually affects the Wanhao in the extruder because the uh, the idea is is here it fits it fits on the um, the MK extruder and what happens is it takes part of the airflow and diverts it down for additional layer cooling uh, while on the other side it uh, takes about half of the airflow and sends it to cool the uh, uh, the MK extruder. Now this kind of works a little bit like the Monoprice Mini Select uh, extruder does where it has one fan for both the layer and um, uh, cooling of the uh, the heatsink. So, uh, what I decided to do is take them up on this and, and to check it out. So, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, actually print it out. It comes in two versions. I, I'm not sure I quite understand version one and version two. Uh, it looks like to be a little bit different in the nozzle area. So, what we're going to do is we're going to print these out. So now, what I've done is I've already jumped over here to Cura and I've loaded them up in Cura. I'm going to do these on the Monoprice Mini Select. I'm going to do them in Rigid Ink, uh, Rigid Ink PLA Plus, so they're more temperature resistant. Uh, it's more like an ABS. It has has a temp working temperature of uh, uh, more or less around uh, 220, 230 degrees. So I've got the temperature set up here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to print these at a 0.3 layer height. I'm going to go with a shell thickness of 1.2 millimeters. Um, uh, top and bottom of about 0.9. Uh, I'm going to go with about 50% infill, uh, at about 50. So these are going to be pretty solid uh, pieces. I am going to turn on touching build plate to uh, ensure that we do have uh, the build plate uh, touching or supports because you know one of the things is you can see here that these do lift up and so uh, to get kind of a cleaner build I'm going to turn that on. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, print these. So you can possibly hear it in the background. The Monoprice Select has uh, kicked off and uh, is now printing these. So tell you what, let's uh, jump over to a time lapse. And then after the time lapse, we'll go to the bench, take a quick look at it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do a print on the Wanhao uh, without this. And then I'm going to measure the temperatures. I'm going to use Fleur and another dedicated meter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this and then do the same print uh, over again after the printer cools down. And then we'll come back and compare the two. So see you over at the time lapse. Okay, welcome back. So we finished printing both of these adapters, um, redirectors maybe better put, and uh, the concept, I want to start with the concept first, is the way it appears is um, uh, Filament Corner has split the opening, so what happens is 50% of the air goes through the top, hits the MK extruder, cools the heat sink, and then the uh, other 50% is redirected down and out a duct uh, for layer cooling or additional layer cooling. Now it seems to be that the only thing difference between these two are really the shape of the 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 duct itself. Um, so this one has a bit more of a tapered design with this has a flatter design. So this I think is a little bit more directed uh, at the nozzle or, or um, plastic extrusion area probably better put where this one is more kind of rounded and, and open and you can kind of see maybe a little bit less of an angle now these are about I can move it here these calibers are a little bit stiff so I'm a little bit short of 10 millimeters I'm gonna to have to add about 10 millimeters to the bolt length uh, to pass through here and uh, go into the the MK extruder so I'm going to probably have to up the M3s a little bit. So um, 
In the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go and install one of these. I'm probably going to go with this one. I'm going to install it on the Wan Hao and give it a test. Before, before I do that, though, in the next episode, I am going to run a test. So what I'm going to do, and I've already got this set up, so I'm going to run a control test. So I have uh, an additional thermocoupler added to the MK, uh, the MK Extruders heatsink. And so I'm going to monitor the temperature there. And then I'm also going to use the FLIR camera to monitor the temperature as a time lapse where I print my test cube. Then what, I, what I'm going to do is, after we run that through, then what I'm going to do is add this on and then run the exact same print um, with it coming up from room temperature and all that, the same thing too. And let's see what the uh, temperature of the MK extruder looks like. Because the big question, I, I think in my mind, is is taking 50% of the airflow away from the MK extruder a good thing? So um, this is what we need to figure out. Because at the end of the day, uh, you know, obviously throwing some more cooling at the layer fan if you're using the stock, you know, I think what is it, a 30 millimeter layer fan is, is probably an okay thing. The one little bit of thing that I don't don't like is obviously this is going to be on all the time like the Monoprice Mini. And you're going to cool your first layers, which, you know, as you're laying them down, is something you, you really don't want to do. I mean, it's not going to be a huge airflow. So we'll also take a look at the resulting cubes that we print out, the test cubes, you know, both A and a B. And we'll take a look at those under the USB microscope and all that kind of stuff to see if there's a difference. Was there really an advantage of adding this little bit of cooling um, versus taking it from the MK extruder? So we'll get a little bit analytic and see how that all works. So hopefully you're finding this interesting. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. It helps support the channel. It's free. Don't forget our swag shop up in the corner. It helps us keep the channel running. Also, subscribe. You'll get the latest updates. And hey, we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.